Once you have your Excel data arranged in either a list or even better, an Excel table with columns of data, as we have here, and rows with each row representing a particular fact in the data list, then you can create a pivot table. To demonstrate how to do that, I will use the create sample file, which you can find in the chapter one folder of your exercise files archive. So again, my goal is to create a pivot table from this Excel table. To do that, I click any cell in the body of the Excel table or the data list, and then on the insert tab, click pivot table. Doing so displays the create pivot table dialog box. I want to create the pivot table using a table or range. So I'll leave this radio button selected and I'll verify that the proper table is selected. I happen to know that my table is named table two, so that looks right. Then down here, I can select whether to put the pivot table on a new worksheet or an existing worksheet. I pretty much always decide to put my pivot tables on new worksheets. That way I have plenty of room to spread out and there won't be any graphics or any other elements of a worksheet impinging on the pivot table itself. Those are the only basic choices that I need to make. So to create the pivot table, I'll click OK. Doing so adds a new sheet to the workbook and you can see the pivot table outline that appears on the left edge of the worksheet. And you'll also notice the pivot table fields pane, which appears over on the right side. You can use the controls in the pivot table fields pane to create and then also to manipulate your pivot table. For this movie, I'll just show you how to set up the pivot table, and in later movies, I'll show you how to manipulate it. There are two main parts of the pivot table fields pane. The first is the field list, and it shows the fields that are available to you, in this case, department, quarter, and sales, and those mirror the columns that were in the data list or the Excel table that I used to create the pivot table. And at the bottom of the task pane, you have areas that you can use to create your pivot table. So you have the columns area, which creates column headers, the rows area for row headers, and the values area, which displays the data in the body of the pivot table. So let's say that I want to put departments in the column area, quarter in the rows area, and sales in the values area. Doing so creates a pivot table that you can see on the left. Those are the basics of creating a pivot table in Excel 2013.